YouTube, welcome to my channel. This time I'm going to tell you 10 hints and tips about the Land Rover Discovery Sport that you might not know. Stay tuned. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn those notifications on. And if you do enjoy this, then give me the thumbs up. Let's get going. If you're driving down that country lane and you find the bushes and trees are scraping against the side of the car, then what you can do is pull in both your wing mirrors from within inside the car. All you need to do is press and hold both mirror buttons until both mirrors will turn in. Be aware that if you do do this, if you don't set them both back out again, then when you unlock the car with the key, the mirrors will not unfold automatically. So make sure that you actually bring both your mirrors back out before you actually lock the car. So we all know how to lock and unlock our Discovery Sport. Uh, just lock it, pressing the button once. Mirrors fold in, indicators flash once. We unlock, mirrors fold out, indicators flash twice. But did you know that you can deadlock your Discovery Sport? Once it, the doors have been deadlocked, this means that they cannot be opened from the inside. So if somebody breaks your window, you can't lean in and open the door. The way we do the deadlock is, with the car unlocked, press the lock button on your remote twice within three seconds. You get the one flash as normal when it's locking the doors, then you get a second flash with a beep tone to say it's now engaged deadlock. To disengage, it's exactly the same, you just press the unlock button. So if you want to know which lock mode your car is in, then put it single lock mode. And some of are folding, then just press the button again once, and you'll see the lights just flash to say I'm in single lock mode. When it's in double lock mode, if you press the lock button on your remote, flashes the lights and give the beep to tell you that you're in double lock mode. This can also be similarly checked using the sensor on the door handle. So Land Rover allow you to personalise the homepage. Now this is the normal homepage provided usually. Uh, you can move across. This is one that I created myself. To actually do this all you need to do is touch and hold. It will then go into edit mode. And from this edit mode, I can touch the widgets and I can move them around how I want them to be. And once you're happy in the position that they are, you can press the home button and then that goes like that. Now, what doesn't happen is, is when you get out of the car, get back in again, it will always default to what is the home position. So you need to go into settings and you need to go into home settings and you need to set the default to be my home which is this one here so that's mine I called it my home one so that's the default home position for me now so whenever I turn the car off so for instance let's stop the car and now when I turn the car back on it will come back on in that home position that I created The car is also fitted with the global opening and closing of the windows, but you do need to enable them in the panel. So go into the menu, go to convenience features, and turn on Windows Global Open and Windows Global Closed. This now means that when you use the remote control to lock the car, you can press the lock button and hold it. 
and it will now raise all the windows for you. Similarly, when you now open the car, you can press and hold the open button and it will lower all the windows for you. When you get to where you want to be and you're in drive, you've been driving, all you need to do, you do not need to engage back, take it out of drive or anything, all you need to do is please keep your foot placed on the brake and press the stop button. This then engages park and shuts the car down. As you're probably aware, the Discovery Sport comes with these luggage straps down here, but you might not be aware that you actually are supplied with four luggage hooks. If you open up here, you look inside one, two, three, four, take one of these hooks out, this is what they look like. These hooks then can be clipped on to the edges here, like so. This then enables you to take your shopping, hook it onto there, and it keeps it nice and secure. My Discovery Sport being the HSC model is fitted with this clear view mirror. So that is the normal view out of a rear view mirror, but if I have lots of bags in the back and I've got some blockage and I can't see out the mirror, then all I need to do is pull this forward and it turns into an actual camera which is mounted on the back of the car so I can see behind. Now not only with that, you also get a couple of functions. So here you can actually alter the brightness of this picture and you can move it up and down a little bit. Very clever. If for any reason you find that the key fob won't open the doors at all, then you have an emergency key within the fob. By pressing that button there, it should release the key. This then needs to be inserted underneath there, and you'll be able to remove this plastic cover, which I'm not going to do on mine, and then inside there is a lock and you'll be able to get in and open the door with the key. So this one took me a little while to figure out because the manual is quite complicated when it describes this. But if you wanted to reset your trip summary here, so I want to reset the, the three items, I can't reset how many miles I've got left in the tank, but I can set um, the miles per gallon, I can reset that, I can reset the average miles per hour, etc. But if I want to do that, what you need to do is, you need to make sure that the bank you want to set, you get two trip banks here, trip A and trip B. So make sure the trip bank you want to reset is shown on the display or it's set. Now if you look down here, this actually monitors, you might have seen this, it goes green when you're driving, things like that. What that happens is, that is a bit of a multifunction display. So that display there can be changed by using the button on the end of this stoke here. So there's a button there, what I'll do is I'll press it and I'll show you display what happens. So if you look at the bottom right corner there, I press the button once, it's gone off. Press it again, now it shows me the date and now it shows me the distance, trip distance and then that's the uh, average speed and the average miles per gallon and then it goes on um, to, uh, that's actual miles per gallon, I'm not moving at the moment so I should show you nothing and then you've got your miles left in the tank and then it goes back to that function. So if I want to reset all of these settings, now I've just actually done my trip A, but if you go into your menu using the steering wheel buttons and you go to your trip bank, you should then be able to select trip bank B, like so. And now come up and come out of the menu and you should go back. Now there's my trip bank B. Now if you look in the bottom right corner, you can see that I've got 558 miles, 21 miles per hour, 27.2 miles per gallon, etc. So if I want to reset all of those settings, you can't just do individual reset all of them in one go, then you need to go to one of those settings like this and then hold the button in for three seconds. This is the button on the end of the stoke here. So I'm gonna hold that button in for three seconds. One, 
two, three. Boom. Now let's reset that, that, and that. The steering wheel is supplied with a customizable button, which is this diamond here. And to actually customize that and set that how you want, do the following. Go into settings, all settings, features, favorite button. And then from here, you've got a short and a long press option and you can select function and you can then put one of these functions into that button. So there we go, hope I've shown you at least one hint or tip that you didn't know about your Land Rover Discovery Sport. If you enjoyed this video then please subscribe and turn on those notifications and if you like this video then please give me that thumbs up. Till the next time, take care.